Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Marie Callender's Cheesy Chipotle Rice and Bean Bowl. This is a rice with black and pinto beans and corn, red, red, red bell peppers, and fire roasted poblano peppers in a cheesy chipotle sauce. It looks good. It looks like it's got quite a bit of uh, stuff in it. So uh, um, this was $3.19 at Kroger, which I don't think is too bad. $3.19 is pretty cheap, I think. It's 370 calories for the whole bowl. And there's your other stuff for you. Let's see. So we're going to microwave oven. You can do the regular oven, but we don't do regular ovens. We do microwaves. So we're going to cook on high for four minutes. Do not vent it. Stir and recover and cook for one minute. So four minutes, stir, and then one minute. And make sure it's hot enough to, so you don't get sick. Let's see. It does have a pull tab, which is nice. Okay. There it is. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be back. All right. Here it is out of the microwave. And uh, the first time I stirred up after the first four minutes, it was really runny. So I was hoping it thickened up and it did. It thickened up quite a bit. So I'm going to let this cool off. You can see the steam maybe coming off of this. It's, it's very hot. So uh, I'm going to let this cool off for a bit and then I'll be back to try it. Okay. It's had a little time to cool off. So I've got uh, plenty of rice, of course, and beans and corns and peppers and uh, green hatch chili and uh, uh, both kinds of beans, the pinto and the black beans. And, um, yeah, I think that's everything. So here we go. Got some spice to it. More, more spice than I was expecting, honestly. Um, flavors are good, but it's very, very spicy. I mean, like burn your mouth spicy. Let me get one that, a bite that doesn't have a chili in it. Yeah, it's all got a little spice to it. Um, I did notice the beans, the black beans are a little tough. Like they're the the casing or the, the shell, the skin, whatever, is a little tough. And a little the beans themselves are a little a little hard. The corn is also a little tough. Now that piece wasn't, but the the couple of pieces I got while I go were. So I guess it just depends on where it's at and how well it's cooked. Um, flavors are okay. It's very, um, it's got a lot of bean flavor to it. I don't really get, when I think of Chipotle, which this is, a, this is cheesy for Chipotle. When I think of Chipotle, I think of a, a, a smoky, like a smoky Chipotle flavor. I don't really get that smoke flavor. It's more um, just beans and um, I get a little bit of the corn and, and the rice. I mean, and the, just the heat from it. Again, not a bad flavor though. If you like spicy, which I like a little spicy, which this is good for me. I like this level of spicy. Um, if you don't want hot, spicy food though, don't get this because it's gonna it's gonna burn you up. Uh, if you like spicy food though, you might enjoy this. It might be a little tame for you. I don't know, but it's it's the perfect amount of spice for me. I wish there was a little more flavor to it, like the cheese had a little bit more flavor. Um, I don't know. Some of the the sauce had a little bit more flavor to it instead of just heat. Um, so that way you would kind of override some of the bean flavor because really all I taste primarily is bean. That being said, I'm still going to give it a four. It's still a really good meal. Uh, has really good, the, the flavors you get are really good. Um, that's how I just wish they were a little more developed. So, so yeah, I'm going to give it a four. Definitely worth trying out if you like spicy food. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.